Fantasy Wednesday or Fed Wednesday? That would be the question. What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bubba's Eye Update for Wednesday, June the 16th. And of course, it is Fed Day, and it is going to be, it promises to be maybe, maybe wild. It has been very, very slow coming into uh, the Fed and, and what's going on here. And maybe everybody has been waiting for what the Fed is going to say or do today. I don't know. I don't, I can't imagine them saying anything worthwhile. In the meantime, this update is brought to you by our friends at the CTG Group, Capital Trading Group. And again, to be full disclosure, I have many other brokers as well. But what we found out for our members that the best and the best customer service and the most efficient executions comes through Capital Trading Group, CTG for short. And they do a great job with our with our members. And they're the only ones we've authorized to do our letter of direction trading. So certainly you can check them out. And if you want to get information, you go to info.capitaltradinggroup.com forward slash Bubba. That's info.capitaltradinggroup.com forward slash Bubba. And you can also check out some of their managed futures products there as well. Uh, they do a great job with their with everything that they do. And they're always a above board. So I think it's a, a great organization to deal with. And again, you can check them out. And remember, we do have other brokers as well. But they do all my accounts as well. In the meantime... As we look at markets, they're very choppy as they've been pretty much all week. Right now, you've got only the NASDAQ higher, everything else is lower. Our positions remain the same or along across the board. Uh, in the metals, gold and silver are slightly higher. Now, again, I'm, I'm sure that we will see some action off of, off of gold and silver today once the Fed does finally make their, their, their big admission or decision this afternoon at uh, 2 Eastern. And of course, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> Platinum is slightly lower, and we would be short platinum if we traded it, but we no longer trade it. It's just not liquid enough. Um, the crude oil continues to go higher, which is not a surprise. Again, when you when you let the, the criminals take place and take charge, you understand that that's going to be the, the way of the land, is that they're going to continue to pound us and, and take advantage of everything that we take away from them. So uh, this is what we have and again, expect oil. I mean, if it gets through 77, it could probably be the next stop will be a hundred. Okay. Uh, the dollar is, is lower today. Uh, we're long dollars at the moment. And uh, um, actually crew just turned lower just to give you a full immediate update. Uh, copper is making a little bit of a charge from yesterday's beat down. Uh, and we are short copper now. And that gas is popping again and we are still long. Um, and um, I don't wanna, I'm going to make sure I don't miss anything. Uh, Bitcoin is getting cracked today. Now, getting cracked, 1,200 points is no big deal. Uh, you know, the cryptos are going to be whippy and back and forth. Just, re- just remember, that's going to be more of the status in the bond markets. Bonds and notes are slightly higher. I mean, that, this could all change at 2 Eastern time. Once the Fed makes their final announcement, which we assume will be nothing, but that, you know, we'll see. And that's what the markets are kind of saying right now, that they expect a big nothing. So we'll see how that plays out. But in the meantime, um, in the grain markets, you've got um, a split markets there as well. Corn is higher by 15 cents right now. Beans are down and wheat is up. So you, you're getting a lot of mixed action in the meats. You've got um, uh, cattle is, is, once again, slightly higher. Okay, and hogs are getting wrecked again, which again makes sense, right? We said this the other day that although we were so long hogs, we assumed that they were somewhere near peaking because of the overall action, and that we know that you know there's only so high the price can go. So you do you are seeing a little bit of reversal there, and I think it makes sense, and I'm sure we'll be reversing shortly in the hog markets as well. Uh, in the softs, you've got cotton, which is slightly higher. Nothing, nothing to speak about, and we're long. Coffee is higher, very slightly, and we're long. Uh, sugar is flat, and we're long. Cocoa is lower, we're short, and of course OJ, uh, we're short, and OJ is uh, slightly higher today. So it's a pretty much of a mixed bag. But I, I think a lot of things will clear out with the with the Fed announcement. We will see, and obviously we don't make overall predictions, but I would suspect it's going to be a big move one way or the other. And of course, we'll see from there. In the meantime, don't forget about our other brokerage partner at Tradier. 
Uh, you know, Tradier, again, we have other equity brokers as well, but Tradier is for our, for my money, hey, it's $10 a month. So I save a lot of money by using Tradier myself. Okay. Uh, but they also they have great customer service, 10 bucks a month. And they've got, we've got their APIs, which allows us if, if you're, if, if you like to automate and there's no cost to automate, it is a free part of the service of your membership. So you can certainly check that out. And, um, uh, our great partners at Family Farms, look, again, they're, they've got the same interests we do. And of course, it's been kind of hectic. So hopefully we've got. Uh, our, our farmers under control and relaxed. And uh, of course, I can't wait to speak at the uh, July event with them. And our commodity report written by Andy Hecht. I mean, check them out. You can go to Seeking Alpha. You can go to Bar Chart. Okay. You can check them out at BubbaTrading.com. 40 years in the business, traded commodities all over the world. Call Technomental at BubbaTrading.com. And our high school program at Patreon, P A T R E O N.com forward slash BubbaTrading. That's Patreon.com forward slash BubbaTrading. In the meantime, have a great day, everybody. Be careful. And be very patient. Let the Fed do its thing, and then you can react to it. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you later. Bubba's study update.